I feel like this isn't new though. Like this this need for y'all to come back. Like yeah. y'all been hearing this for years. Yeah. And mm-hmm. Even me not knowing who the OMG girls were, <laughs> I knew that though. Like yeah. I did yeah. the interview. Like every time I did, I did an interview with you. I did an interview with you. And, and one thing that was consistent, like I wish they came back. I wish they came back. And, yeah. and I talked to both of y'all about coming back and it, it was like, still was up in the air. Mm-hmm. What made y'all finally say, all right, let's do it? It started with our lawsuit. Yeah. That, that's kind of where it started. Mm-hmm. I think we were uh, together a lot, like at the top of this year. And okay. I think just us being around each other and just really see how like these folks was playing with us. Um, you know, I think that we was just like, let's just come back and do it. Like, let's just, you know, show them that, you know, or just show everybody still a demand there. And on top of that, I think we never ever said that we gonna weren't going to come back I together. Right. I just mm-hmm. think we wanted to experience stuff. Mm-hmm. So us coming back together, we just wanted it, it to be on our own time. And mm-hmm. we wanted it to feel natural mm-hmm. yeah. as well. You know what I mean? Not forced. Yeah. yeah. But we were never against it. So it was no, just, y'all was yeah, never, yeah. Took, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Y'all never really said no. Like, yeah. yeah. No, no, no. no, no. I, said we had I feel like we all kind of knew that it was going to happen at some yeah. point. Yeah. We just like. Didn't know, didn't know when. Didn't know when. Yeah. Y'all was like, giving the political answers like, eh, we don't know. Like whenever yeah. is the right time. Yeah. 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 And I mean, and that's how it happened for real, for real. Yeah. Like not even. So front, is, it, is, like, is the uh, lawsuit over? Um, Come on, man! Don't get, y'all did radio already, bro. No, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> I'm just saying. Yeah, we bro. we kind of we we be a little picky with it because we don't really know kind of mm. what we can and can't talk about. Right. But we can take it out. We, She'll tell you. Will say, <laughs> well, hey, hey, yeah, hey, hey, I'm, I'm a man of my word, right? No, <laughs> I'm a man of my word. I love it because I watched. What we will say is though, honestly, is that you know we always gonna stand up and we gonna fight for our creativity and our right. And at the end of the day, and it's like I'm I'm glad that we here and we could kind of touch on this because. I think a lot of people in the comments and stuff like that didn't really understand, you know what I mean, why we felt this way. It's like, this corporation has a history of doing this to young black creatives. It's not just us. This corporation it's, meaning um, the... MGA. MGA. Mm-hmm. They that, have a... Wait, we got to break it down even more. Yeah. Who does? The Bratz. The Bratz. They mm-hmm. do the Bratz dolls. Okay, because yeah. even me, and the I'm just I'm yeah. trying to learn. Yeah. So they do the Bratz dolls. They do the LOL OMG dolls, mm-hmm. which is what we were saying. They were infringing upon our trademark and our image and our likeness. But, you know, it's like this company, this is what they do to black creatives. And then they go to white creatives and they do partnership deals and they make sure they go about it the right way there Mm. but when it comes to us it's like we have to fight you know what i'm saying for our for really just our creative right and ideas that we came up with our moms came up with Mm -hmm. and you know i think that they probably felt we didn't have the resources or we didn't have the know-how or any type of backing to really y'all yeah Yeah. i don't think that they really did did the research (laughs) you know it it just it was a crazy experience you Mm -hmm. know i think that was Mm -hmm. the first time that we had ever been up against anything like that ever in mm-hmm. our lives. So you know? if we can, and again, we can um, hold on to this or whatever we got to do, like just, because I'm curious, cause I don't know. Yeah. Okay. Um, If we can go into it, because I have no clue. How mm-hmm. did you even, like, because if I see the breasts, maybe because, again, maybe it wasn't my my my, age, my demographic, mm-hmm. but if I was to see the breasts, though, I knew the breasts, though, I would never think, like, I don't know, OMG girls. How Was that something clear during that time, like, yo, this is clear yeah, plagiarism. Like, clear. this is us. Yeah, yeah we're talking about the, the LOL, LOL, though. LOL, though. Yeah. The OMG. Sorry, this is just the same company that yeah. makes yeah, the both. Yeah, they make both. Okay, yep. okay. Right. Yeah. So when, when that came out, see, yeah, I'm really learning. Like, I don't no, know. Yeah, no, so no, when yeah. it really came out, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. When it came out, was that, like, clear? Like, bro, that's us, bro. Like, what are y'all doing? Mm-hmm. Yeah, most definitely. And it was in different ways, how they put it together, how they, like, packaged it together, mm-hmm. how they even had them like go on tours and do music videos and all those type of things on YouTube too. So they were like artists and everything. Yeah. So it was the pink, purple, and blue, the colored hair, even how they positioned the dolls, like how we were standing our pink, purple, and blue, like for posing for pictures on red carpet. Mm-hmm. It was just crazy. And, and even then, for little kids to be like, yeah. they would think that, you know, that was, was the thing, it was right? Confusing. It's the confusion, right? Yeah, and that our was the fans part. Were yeah. They didn't know. Yo, how was that for y'all, though, going through that? Like, because this is a long time. We couldn't talk about it. We we couldn't talk about yeah. it. And you, y'all know I like to talk about how y'all feel. Know. Y'all know. <laughs> y'all know. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I know. Me. Right, we know. It'll get out over it. But honestly, though, like, how was Because, you know, we hear that we. People in the comments can, they got everything they say, they can judge and all that, right? Yeah. But at the end of the day, y'all still people, yeah. right? Mm-hmm. And that got to weigh, like, that got to be heavy on y'all, especially mm-hmm. y'all separated. Y'all don't know if y'all coming back together or not. Y'all, y'all probably want to. I don't know. Who knows yeah. what's going through your mind, right? Yeah. yeah. During that moment, um, first of all, is is it over the court case? Is it over? 
we not like yeah, sure. we can't yeah but that's it we okay because yeah. i'm not some of the case but i'm just because my question is uh-huh. when it was at its peak whatever uh-huh. the court case and y'all got to go back and forth y'all get lawyers and everything how was that making y'all feel as like as individuals as artists you know what i'm saying like was it did it feel defeating at one point um mm. it I, I would say it didn't really feel as defeated until the end like, yeah i feel like everyone we all were, you know, extremely like proud of what we were fighting for. Yeah. We were proud of, you know, the meetings, everything we were having about what was going on, how it was our going. Lawyers were yeah. Our lawyers, like mm-hmm. how everything was going. I felt like we all were, you know, we felt we like it was we going good. good. Yeah. Yeah. And so it took to the end for us to feel like, you know, damn, like defeated yeah. and like, you know, all the hard work mm-hmm. that we we put in, our team put in, everyone, that's when it was just like, damn, like, yeah. yeah. It's done. Yeah. It, it, it stung a little, mm. and then what I also will say too is it kind of like made me want to go a little bit harder. Too. Yeah, I can see that. Because yeah. the way that I felt, I just feel like we didn't, we weren't really dealt to fail a fair shake in my eyes. I felt, but also too, I just think that like you know these them ideas that we came up with, you know what I'm saying? Those were our ideas. Those hair colors, we came up with those. And, and y'all got a lot of, uh, no, I'm sorry. Cause no, 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 no. Y'all yeah. got a lot of backlash for stuff like that. We talked about it in yeah, the beginning, right? right? Yeah. Like when mm-hmm. y'all changing and hairs and people talking. Yeah. But they're yeah. promoting these dolls and to our community, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. To people who look like us. And that's why like, even too in the comments, it was irritating me just seeing people who look like us being like, oh, those dolls don't look like them. They're tripping. Da, 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 da. It's like if y'all really could have sat in there and seen how these people were attacking our characters, mm-hmm. how they were attacking our families, our accomplishments, mm-hmm. what we have done, haven't done. It was sick. And it's like, I mean, to me, it was sick. I it just was. felt like oh, it, yeah, no, it was really it was sick. And I think that, like, you know, that's all the more reason that we always going to fight for what we believe is rightfully ours. Because, like, that was something that I feel like we had to fight back on a shout out to Auntie Tamika too, yes, obviously, to because Auntie. um it came from her some one of her homegirls sent it to her. She saw it, immediately sent it out to everybody involved, us, our moms. And from there it was like, oh, she was like, you know, mm. we gotta we we gotta fight this. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And I think that um you know, again, no matter how whatever way it came out, like we we gonna always do that. It don't matter who it is, big, small, short, tall, we gonna mm-hmm. always like fight for what we believe is rightfully ours we believed in that yeah period. especially i want to make sure to know like they are called the lol but they're, they're called the lol omg doll so mm-hmm. even the name being omg how it is and it's outrageous millennial girls and we were known as officially misguided but like even how they pitch it to be like big sisters and all that type of thing for girls or whatever like that like that's our whole pitch that we've done since we were out as a group like the fans always looked at us if not big sisters like best friends that they can come to and yeah. like relate to and feel like they can you know hear some music that they you know they can vibe with and all those type of things so for them to even be called omg like that was right there like crazy in itself mm-hmm. yo it's crazy because like not even to get too redundant in this but i keep saying this but we talked about this and um just that how people can look at you like y'all stars, y'all, y'all, y'all world renowned stars. Everybody know y'all, right? Mm-hmm. I was the only one, clearly. But <laughs> well, thank you, every, yeah. everybody know who the OMG girls are, right? And just even even y'all like individually. And I hear you say like we wasn't dealt, we wasn't really dealt a fair shape. Mm-hmm. And it's crazy how we are so similar, but the people separate us, right? Mm-hmm. And that's why I say like not to get redundant because we talked about this before, but like. Me coming from the projects, I wasn't really dealt the fair shake. You right. go outside, yeah. you got McDonald's on every corner. I didn't really understand. I really didn't understand healthy eating until I started mm-hmm. moving to like Beltsville, yeah. right? Because you got a you got a, a Chinese food spot, you got a, 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 a fast food on yeah. every. I yeah. wasn't really dealt. I was wasn't really dealt the fair shake, right? Even yeah. when we talk about the crack epidemic, right? Like mm-hmm. they dropped these off in our neighborhoods. Like we didn't right. go searching for that, yeah. right? Mm-hmm. And it's crazy because we got to fight that. We have presidents like, I mean, he wasn't the president at the time. Bill Clinton. I mean, wow. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> the president now. Yeah. Uh, Joe Biden. Joe, Joe Biden. Biden. Mm-hmm. He forcing laws on us and like sending people to jail for things that they ain't even had. Like that wasn't even, we wasn't dealt a fair shake. Mm-hmm. You get what I'm sure. trying to say? Mm-hmm. I say all that to say, seeing that and in, 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 in having your own experience with that, right? For somebody who might not be as fortunate or blessed to be in your position, but still not be dealt a fair shake. What would the advice be to them? Like, what's the motivation? What would you give them? What was y'all, what did y'all learn from the situation that y'all went through? 
Um, just, yeah. yeah, that's cliche. No, I don't like that. No, no, know, that's true though. When you exactly. Know, you know, I'm not playing. Like, no, <laughs> no, when you're going through it though, that's a real you thing got to, to say because, because that's how it make you feel. They, like, they, they'll yeah. eat it up. It'll make you feel like, like, that, like that sometimes it can like shake you up or make Seriously, you feel like question yeah. type thing. So to hear that keep going thing, like you'll think you don't need to hear, but when you hearing people say things and tearing you down or acting like you ain't nothing, like to hear the those those simple words, they may be something cliche or something you always hear. And they hear from a certain person, like to hear from, I need to say keep going. That strong, and like, then they coming like, against stuff that we did when we was like children, 14, yeah. 15 mm -hmm. years old. Like the type of the stuff that we was doing at 14 and 15 year, years old, pe regular, like mm -hmm. anybody else is not doing it. I don't want to say regular people, but just now, the average regular, person we, yeah. on a daily is not doing no shit like that. Right. And so I just feel like, you know, to me, it's like I, I hate that, like bring this up but i just feel like honestly like i'm sorry it was just racist to me like i just feel like it's like y'all gonna rip us off because we the little small black artists that y'all don't know but then y'all will go do all these doll deals with all of these other white creators who are millionaires and billionaires and all of this stuff you know what i mean and then look at us crazy when we like uh-uh you know like it's mm -hmm. not i just i don't feel that that's fair and i just feel like you know anybody who in a situation where somebody is taking something from you that you created out of your mind you should always fight for that it doesn't mm -hmm. matter like that's what these big corporations do they try to step on people who they feel like oh you ain't got no you ain't got no stain you ain't got no resources you can never come fight against us they could did not expect us to really be able to get in the courtroom with them and i feel like for real for real that's the the, the biggest victory is the fact that we was even able to yeah. do it because it's other creators who yeah. that happened to who they couldn't yeah. do that yeah 